Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Canada to Italia, episode 41. And Italia, of course, is Italia 2030, the World Cup. We are through to the playoffs. And uh, let me just check something first before I... Yeah, okay, I thought that was the case. Um, let's see where I can go to do this without giving it away, but I can't. Okay, well, we're just going to give it away. So, I thought in the last episode that we would be facing Peru. I thought that's how the playoff worked. As it turns out, the playoff involves four teams. One from Conmebol, which is Peru. One from Oceania, which is, of course, New Zealand. And one from Asia, which is Uzbekistan. So, we had a draw, and the first name out of the hat was Peru. And the second name out of the hat was New Zealand. The third was Canada. And the fourth was Uzbekistan. So you might think, oh, well, that's great. You know, that's that's an easy one for you. But let me show you something here. World, world rankings. Thank you. Okay, so we are right there, 39th. Um, Uzbekistan is 42nd. Uh, Peru, I believe, are 61st. And God only knows where New Zealand is. But I suspect it's a long way down. Maybe not this far down. Nope, there they are, 158th. So, in fact, although we drew what seems to be a not very good team in terms of the, the Uzbekistani team, um, they are ranked higher than either of the other two. We This is the toughest draw we could have gotten according to the world rankings. So that's pretty interesting. We're going to go with the usual team. Um, no real changes or surprises. We've got uh, Bono and Goal, Hlavati, Law, Tomori and Simpson, Brogia, Vittoria, Stephen, Kotcha on the left, Balu on the right, Air up front. And David Plugger is suspended. Other than that, it's, it's pretty much the team that you might expect. Um, we're at home for the first leg, so let's see how we get on. I put pressure on them and say I expect nothing but a win. Let's try it. Well, we got a couple of them. That's not too bad. I'm sure that they'll miss him. His 130th cap for Canada today. Which I think is a pretty good result for him. main issue with facing Uzbekistan is their goalkeeper, who is quite good. Um, other than that, most of their players are grayed out, so they're not what you might call um, top end. No highlights whatsoever, but we are out shooting them. Wow, this is a big field looks like. There we go. Blue with the pass from air and he slams it home. Straight up 1-0. And we're one step closer to the World Cup. You will have heard of course by now that um, in 2026 we will be hosting the World Cup along with the USA and Mexico. That means that Canada will make the World Cup in 2026 for certain. Um, obviously, as a host nation. But they're expanding the World Cup in that year to 48 teams. 
Now, whatever you think of that particular expansion, certainly from Canada's point of view, it's going to mean we qualify every time because CONCACAF is going up to six slots as far as I understand it. And at the moment, we only have three and a half. So Canada usually misses out in that three and a half by ending up fourth or fifth and then either failing in the playoff or just finishing fifth. Um, but with six places, we shouldn't have any trouble qualifying for pretty much every World Cup from now on. So it'll be interesting to see how it gets, how it goes, but we'll be going to the World Cup finals pretty much regularly, I expect, after the 2026 World Cup. Well, including the 2026 World Cup. Don't get complacent out there. Let's go, let's go, roll it. We've had all of, oh wow, two subs at halftime. They must not be very happy. And Peru is unsurprisingly up over New Zealand. Oh, Dave Air hits one off the crossbar. Really like at least another home goal. Okay, let's have a look at who we've got here. Um, I think we'll let Dave Ayer come off for Smith. He's played reasonably well, but he's quite tired. Um, how about Kiroz for Tabla? And swap sides on that. And away we go. We'll let the other sub wait. Simpson with the long ball. Does he find Smith? He does. Smith is in with the goal as the substitute scores. That's nice. I really wanted that extra goal. New Zealand back to two all with Peru. They're making the best of their home match. But it'd be hard to see New Zealand beating Peru over the two legs. Sorry New Zealander fans, but life is like that. I don't know, do I have anybody who can replace Eustachio? Borges, I guess. Which is better. Nope, other way. Ugh. There we go. All right, let's roll it and see if we can get ourselves maybe one more just to make it really secure. Come on, boys, get us one more. Well headed away, and it's all over at BMO Field. Hurrah! With a good win. They only had the one shot on target. Well done, lads. Good uh, good win for us. Leave match. And... Quality of possession. Pleased with the result. It's 130th cap. Yeah, he was good. He was very good. All is excellent, 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 excellent. Let's run ahead to the next match because it's only going to be four days and this is there's very few leagues loaded. And actually, since they're, we're in the off-season now for um, MLS, we shouldn't have any problem getting through to the injury update, injury update, scouting report. Weather report, 18 degrees Celsius for kickoff. That's not too bad. Halilovic. And we're pretty much there. Mm 
And here we are. New Zealand won that first match 3-2. They're on the brink. And all they need is to not lose to Peru, and they're through. Well done. Um, yeah, a couple of under-20 and under-23 games. Nothing really big there. Team selection. Now this is the tricky bit. How tired are we? We aren't. Oh, I'm pleased with that. The only one who looks pretty tired is Gavin Simpson, who played very well. Um, do I want to replace him or not? I don't. We'll just put Plugger on the bench. Um, Craig Smith played very well. I'd like to see him play more, and let's give him the start. Um... Yeah, that'll do. That will do. I'm going to save it, because I always save it before a game. I've been playing this game for 20 years. It crashes. That's That happens. I hate when it does, and I hate losing games because of it. All right, let's roll. Okay, dressing room. Pick up where you left off. No, don't don't be complacent. There we go. Excellent. Morale is high. We've got a two-goal lead and they've got no away goals. So, we're in good shape here, I hope. And obviously, from our point of view, as Canada, you know, no highlights is a brilliant thing. But, uh, obviously, it's not the superest thing for... Ooh, my! What a nice goal. Ahmed Karimov. All right, we saw it. It was weak. There we go, there we go, there we go. Go with him, go with him. No, nope. way back to the back post. can't believe he managed to miss that from that close. Got a little lucky there. Game's a little more even than it was in Toronto. Yes, I said Toronto because that's how they say it when you live in Toronto. Nobody says Toronto. Oh, poo sticks. Now we need a goal. But if we get a goal, we're ahead on away goals. So... Come on, boys. There we go. Half time. Half time. Appreciate their efforts. Mm. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, it's down to 45 minutes of football to find out whether we make the World Cup or not. We just need the one goal. All right. 
right, I'm bringing on Dave Air. And Kiroz. Hmm. I'll leave it at those two for now. There's Kiroz. Beautiful, involved in the play, but already, but can't do it enough. Hlavati, back for Brogiao. Steven. Baloo, uh, unfortunately our creative force didn't get the one-timer to work right, and now they're coming in with the goal. Nope. I forgot to turn my phone off again. Oh, that looked like it was headed in. Ugh. <sighs> Both missed. Okay, come on. Oof. I'm going to get Plugger for. There he is. Plugger. Okay. Play. Come on, there we are. Kiroz. Clavati, back to Kiroz. Baloo, ah, oh, so close. Ugh, given away easily. Good save. <sighs> this would be a bad time to score. For them, I mean. I think we're going extra time. Yep. Curious to see whether I get to make another sub or not. No. Okay. So, it's just a matter of the team talk. All right, that's what I want to see. Okay, let's go. Uh, there, now you've got him. Now you've got him, Kiroz. Do something with it, Steven. A wide for Kiroz. Picks it up. Can he get it in? He does, but Air can't do anything with it as he's being tripped without a penalty. Oh, come on. He didn't call it at the other end. Come on, boys.
Just give me one. Penalties. Oh, God, help us. <sighs> Auto pick. Okay. Why is Tabla not being up there? I like ta I would want Tabla to be further up. Um, certainly replaced Kiroz with him at least. Other than that, we'll see how we go. Our only good penalty taker. Whew! Thought he was going to stop that one. Good Bonoff. Also scores. Fikayo Tomori takes it and scores. Come on, Bono. That a boy. It's off the post, but it's good enough. All right, Jamie, young man, let's go. Yes. Three to one. Stop him here, and we're pretty much through. Oh, almost. Almost. Dave Air. Our best player. They have to score. Or they're done. No, no, take your time, boys. It's not like we're waiting. <gasps> he saved it, and we're through. I'll take that. I don't care that we had to go to penalties. We're through. We're going to the World Cup. That's all I really care about. Team talk. Uh, well done, lads. Good win for us. That's fine. I'll take it. It's good enough. Whew. That was scary. Oh, Peru beat New Zealand 3-0, so Peru gets through and New Zealand does not. It's the third time that Canada have qualified for the competition. Hurrah! Hurrah! Everybody has bad days. World Footballer of the Year. Well, I'm a Spurs fan, so I'm going to say Dele Alley. Canadian A. They're happy, happy, happy. Must build on that. Bailey disappointed with losing, but that's all right because we got through and we're going to the World Cup. Now I'm going to pause for a minute and I'll be back with the um, World Cup draw in about a month's time, but it'll be back in a moment for you. See you soon. All right, we're back. It's time for the draw. We have unsurprisingly been placed in the fourth pot, obviously. Uh, never much question about that. Let's see how it goes. Shall we? Shall we do the full draw? No. Let's let's um, get the first three teams of each group, and then see who we would like to face. Oh goodness! Italy, Brazil, and the USA. Then, well, I don't think we can be in there because the U.S. is. Argentina, Spain, and Romania. That's ugly too. Germany, Colombia, Austria. Maybe. France, Uruguay, Croatia is pretty ugly. England and Mexico against Japan. We can't be in that group. Belgium, Portugal, Senegal. We could have a shot there. Serbia, Holland, Ivory Coast. Maybe a shot there. Russia, Switzerland, South Korea. That's the group I want. So let's see how we do. Congo, South Africa, Iran, Canada. Oh, we're, gonna, we're screwed. 
We're not getting out of the first round. Oh, that's too bad. But, oh well. There we are with the World Cup draw. Peru got Russia, South Korea, and Switzerland, the group of life, shall we call it. But there's some tough groups out there, and I think ours might be just about the toughest. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh well, not much to be done about it. I wonder where Croatia is sitting these days. 17th, super. And France is number one, we know that. They've been number one for a couple of years now. And Uruguay. 13th. So Croatia is the weak guy of the group compared to us, or compared to the others. Isn't that wonderful? So yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty much screwed. That's, let's be honest, we're, we're pretty much screwed. So yeah, that's going to be it. Um, I probably will not do anything... Um, maybe we'll play a friendly or two, but more likely I'll just go straight to the World Cup and see how we get on, because it doesn't look like it's going to be very well. Um, I guess that's all we have to say for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you won't mind dropping a like, hitting subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day, and take care.